Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and what a beautiful day here in the Finger Lakes. We are currently in a warm spell. I love it. I absolutely love this weather. It's fall, but it's 70 and it might even go up to 80 today. I am thrilled with the warmer weather. It will break. By the time you're watching this, it will have broken. But in any case, I'm still going to enjoy this beautiful weather. So I got to thinking about, you know, I had you saw the unpacking video where I unpacked Christmas for this year. And I thought to myself the other day, I can't find this. This was not in the bin. Where would this be? And I found another entire box of Christmas stuff. This is a an ephemera holder that I made for myself last year specifically to hold Christmas, mostly stickers, but all sorts of little Christmas doodads. So I now have that back and that I'm going to be using that probably today. I also found a couple of envelopes filled with scraps and what's in here? More scraps. I think these are littler scraps. And some pictures and some things. So I found more stuff to play with, in other words. All right, it's Fun Fold Friday. And it's this is actually going back to a video I did a little over a year ago. And it's taking a paper bag, folding it like so, folding it in thirds. I like to put this one, the, the bottom third inside first and then the top one over. And it doesn't really matter exactly which size you have. I have two different sizes here. I have made this littler size several times and I sell them at the craft fairs for about $10 and they sell every time. So there's a Cracker Barrel one. I'm just gonna fold it in and fold it in. It's just in thirds, it's easy. So what the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this together. Um, I have a bunch of pieces here that were pre-cut from last year from a project. Um, my goal is to use them up, and so we're going to see if we can make this particular journal out of those. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you can do this with a craft knife. You can probably do it on your guillotine. I'm just using scissors to cut off my edge. And I am opening up the bottom of the bag. Now you notice when that happens, you have a little bit of stuff here that isn't glued. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little glue here, a little glue here, and just close that up. I'm not closing the bag, I'm just closing that side. Hang on, let me get it open again so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just want these sides to kind of be glued down some. I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm going to put something over the top of it, but that just gives me a little bit of a pocket here. Now, I do want to put a thumb notch in, but I have learned, let me grab a piece of paper here. I always have paper underneath my, my uh, mat, a little bit of paper just to, for this exact purpose. I want to put a thumb notch here, but I know that my that plastic bags don't necessarily cut well. If I put a piece of paper over the top of it, look at that, I get a nice clean cut. So there's a little trick for you, just a little bit of paper over the top of it and you get, it cuts things out much better. On this side, I don't need to do that because there's already a notch in the paper. So I'm good there. So I now have, I have a space here, I have a space here, a space here, a space here, a space here, and a space here that all need to be covered. And then I got a little, <coughs> sorry, a little tucked spot in here. And we have all sorts of things that we can do. So let's go ahead and decorate. So I have these that are like pockets, and I like the pockets, but they are the bells would be sideways. I don't know that I can do, unless I can do one. No, they're a little bit wide. I'm just checking each one because they're folded slightly different. Oh, that one might fit. Yeah, that one fits. So that one's going to go in here. Um, what else do I have? I have a nice 
all of these are kind of sideways. There we go. I've got one that goes that way, so that can go nicely there. What is this one? That one can go nicely there. Now some of the paper bag is going to show through. I am going to cover that up with something. I don't know what yet, but we'll cover that up with something. And then this one ends up going this way, unless I chew. Well, I don't want to put that. I could put a pocket in, which I might choose to do, and then save you for the back side. There we go. All right. I have everything that I want for each side. These I'm not going to use at this point, so let's put them aside. I need to get something to cover up poor Wendy's face. I don't need Wendy's face showing there. All right, let me go grab a piece of paper, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I found a nice piece. Of, this was a scrap from something else so I'm just going to cut it down to size I have to do some measuring though because I don't know how big this is this is actually five and a quarter I'm going to go ahead and cut this at five because whoops oh dear okay now I just realized I left my glue open before when I was working before no big deal. We'll just clean it out. So there we go. I can put that in. This is it. I think it's just a little, a hair shy of too wide. So let's cut just a little bit off the side. There we go. That fits just fine now. Okay. Now, I left my glue open, which means I'm probably going to have... Oh, that might be okay. And the other day I was having such trouble with my glue. I turned off the camera, finished up, you know, the, the video, came back a few minutes later to my craft table to make a couple more things, and the glue worked just fine. I was like, you just didn't want to work on camera. That was it. You got camera shy. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here. Bring it down just a little bit. It's a little high up. Come on. Which means I'm going to have to put a little washi or something over the top, maybe to cover up the glue mess that I've made. Now, where's that pocket? There it is. Um, I don't need to do any thing around it because uh, it is already. If this is this was a digital that I got at one point, and I tried printing it on the brown paper. I don't really like it on the brown paper, to be honest with you. Not my favorite, but. I think it's going to be fine in here. There. So now I have a pocket in the middle. Um, this was going to go on the back side. I want the, which one of these do I want? Let's put wishing you a Merry Christmas out here. Now this one I am going to ink soon as I find my ink. There it is. I have things a little bit messy at the moment because I opened up my window again. I have a window over to my right and I have a tendency to use the windowsill to put a lot of things on. Problem is when I open the window they tend to blow all over the place or they fall all over. The, so I move them when I have the window open. And right now that window is wide open because we have beautiful weather. There we go. So I'm going to put this here. But now do I want something behind it? Because, let's face it, we've got a little bit of... Now that green is a little bit bright. So let me see what else I have as far as the greens go. I have 
a lighter green. I don't want the lighter, even the lighter green. I have this little bit of darker green. There we go. I want that piece. This piece of darker green. I have my, these are organized. I have a big thing with big sheets. These are medium sized sheets and these are tiny little scraps. And yes, I use them all. Okay, I'm going to just take a little bit of this. I can go back in the medium one. I'll put that back in a minute. And what I want to do is just cover up Wendy here a little bit. Okay, so let's cut you right about there. So see, this will go back in the little one. And what I'm going to do is just put this and wrap it around. I like the stars. I'm going to end up covering up most of the stars. But I definitely want to cover up. Okay. There we go. Now, I have a fold over here, and I think I need to get that unfolded. There we go. So have you started your Christmas projects at this point? Let me know in the comments what you're working on. Um, I think it's really hard to get my head around Christmas when I am in nearly 80 degree weather, but if you're a Floridian or from a warmer climate, or if you're in Australia or the other, you know, any of the Southern Hemisphere places, I know that for you, the weather is turning warmer as we move into the later half of the year. There. That's just to give it a little bit more greenery. That's not the one I want. I buried it. I told you I've got too many things over here on the side that I generally don't have on the side at the moment. Okay, let's cover you back up and we're going to go ahead and do the cover here. And we're going to put you right here on the cover. I like that little bit of green there. Just dresses it up a little bit. And I didn't put those greens away because I'm probably going to use them on another page. So we're going to ink this. And I'm using Fabri-Tac for this rather than glue because the paper bag doesn't always take the glue, the glue stick as well as I think it should, and I want these to last. I want this to get on there and then stay there. Okay, so that now is my front. And let's go ahead and put, I may be changing my mind. I'm trying to figure out how to get those stars. I could just kind of cut that a little bit. Because I have these. What else do I have over there? Um, you know what? I have this little pocket envelope. What if I... Put that there and then do this as a flap. Or maybe we'll do it this way. We'll do it as another flap inside. And then we put whoever, whatever it was, that over the top. Oh, I'm kind of liking that idea. So when you open it up, you've got a flap for in here and a flap here. The, okay, we're using that envelope here. This was not something I intended, but it works. So I'm going to get my glue to come out and just do this. I'm going to do that whole thing. Part of the fun of creating, making sure everything's right straight up. Okay, and for the moment, I want to leave just a little bit of room there we go. We're going to flap you down and then you will fold in. 
Okay. Did I do that right? Yep, I did it right. Actually, no, I was going to do it here, wasn't I? Well, guess what? Now we've got a flappy and a pocket and a pocket. Because I don't know that I can take that off. I can take that off. I think I can still take it off. Yep, I can take it off. Because I wanted the flappy to be here. Okay, I'm going to throw a little more glue on there. Because a lot of that glue is on the other page. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to throw a little more glue on here. Okay, so sometimes we make mistakes. I'll fold you under for the moment. And I'm putting you right here. And then I'm going to put this piece right here because I don't want the okay let's glue that down I'm going to give a little bit more strength to that flap and I don't want that glue the remnant of it sticking to anything so let's get this covered up fairly quickly All right, Creative Solutions 101. There we go. All right, so now we open, we flap, we flap. I still need something here and something here. Okay, but on the back, I was planning to put this guy. Still planning to. Just making sure we get him looking like everybody else. You know, although, you know what, I put that thing down and I don't think I flipped. I did the color on it. Oh, well. Okay. So now, I don't want to put a pocket on the outside because this is something that could go in a purse, a bag. It could even be put into another journal. Just slide it into a pocket as a little extra piece. You can use these in a lot of different ways. There we go. Okay. So, open, flap, flap. I need something here and here. I have a piece here. I think we'll put you right here. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Oh well. It's not going to get done and I don't think anybody's going to ask for their money back because I didn't do the distressing around one of the cards. That card does not have any distressing. Okay, I want it to go this way. I want it to go this way. And I will redo... Hang on. I'm putting it that way, so I want to make sure I leave just a little bit here. You'll see what I mean. I, I want them. I'm going to go ahead and put it all down here and around here and a little bit over here. I'm trying not to get glue too much in the middle because I have to redo that little um, notch. I want to redo the notch because it sticks out over the notch just a little bit. Okay. There. Now, I still have a couple places here that are still sticking up. So I'm going to come in with my glue and I'm just going to stick that down so that that's no longer an issue. It's not a problem on this side, just a little bit over here. There. So there we go. Okay, I need something over here now, and I don't have, I only have little ones left, but that's okay. That's why I have this. Okay, so if I put this here, and then I put you here, I could also do another little pocket if I wanted to. 
or I cover up the moon and I leave the stars. I could put that one here. I like this one better. What do you think? Okay, I need a little bit more green here. Okay, getting rid of that glue because I want this glue. Right glue for the right job. And this glue always works well on the tissue paper. And I want to cover up more of that blue. And I don't mind the wrinkles. That's kind of the point of using tissue paper is to be all wrinkly and pretty. Cover up that blue just a little bit. There. Excellent. I wanted this piece, and I think we'll put it right here. Let me find my ink again. I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. Um, a lot of times I use the, the uh, archival ink, but um, I just bought the Distress Oxide. It is a little bit lighter in color than the other, but I'm okay with that. Okay, and now we're gonna put you, I think, up here, up here. I think we'll put it in the middle and we're, we'll just kind of lose the moon a little bit there. All right. Now, I do have a, at least one card here that can go in it. But I'll have to make a few cards to go in it. I'm not going to spend time doing that today. Today is making the journals. We're going to make a couple of these today. At least I am. And you can stick around for as many of them as you would like. All right. This one is complete. And all it needs is the tie. Let me go grab the tie. I'm back. I have this kind of velvety red that I really like. It's uh, from Stampin' Up. This was part of the absolutely wonderful haul that a friend of mine gave me. And I think this might work very nicely to do a wrap and a wrap and a tie it in a bow. An entire journal. How long did that take? Less than 20 minutes. Of course, I haven't stuffed it yet, but we'll stuff it later. Like I said, you know, I've got, I have this piece I can make a journal card out of, this piece I can make a journal card out of, and I can even, if I need to, if I want to, I can cut those down. In fact, I might do that. I'll cut those down and make them into journal cards. Okay, that's one. One down. Let's go to number two. Uh, so this one, hang on, what I forgot what I did with this one I've got in here. Okay, let me go to this one. So this, actually, no, that one's going to require too much thinking. I, I've got to think on some, th some of those pieces. So this was another set of digital pieces that I had. Um, I think I have enough. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, and for me, it has to open like a book. You can open it this way. I have to open it like a book. It doesn't make sense to me otherwise. And so I want this flap on the inside, this flap on the outside, or on, try this again. This flap on the outside, this flap on the inside. 
this is a bigger piece, um, a bigger a bigger paper bag. But you notice it doesn't quite come that way. So I want to decide what do I want, what's okay to be seen uh, from the outside. I like kind of like that because I'm only going to see this little bit until I open it up. And so I just want to know what I'm going to see. Yeah, I definitely like that one on the inside. This one's going to have to get cut down a little bit. So I have to decide which one I'm okay. I'm okay, I think, cutting this one's. Yeah, I'll cut this one down. Because I don't have to cut very much off of it, but just a little bit. And that the point set is already kind of off kilter. There we go. So that fits perfectly. I'm going to save that little piece because, you know, who knows. So I have this. And I have this. I'm going to have to cut off another one. Um, I have this for the back. Okay, for my inside, I'm doing something a little different. I have this little piece here that I think might work well. But I'm going to put in a pad of paper. I'm making some decisions here. Because I want to put something on the back underneath the pad of paper. All right, let's go ahead and put the front on. Let's get that one organized. Okay, and again, we have, I'm going to put that down there so it stops moving around on me. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, my brain is going through here trying to figure out what I want to exactly do because I need something up here and here. I have washi. I could do a little bit of washi up on the top. So if I put that around, hang on, let's open it up. If I did that up at the top, that's not so bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you settled down. You guys having fun? I hope you have, you know, grab a couple of bags. As for what size these um, cutouts are, I don't know. I'm not really, and you saw, I'm just kind of eyeing it and getting it to fit the way, and different bags are going to be different sizes. So it really depends. Now I did not distress the outside of this one. I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so now I need a piece here. How long a piece do I want? Just about that long. I am going to cut it. And I will put a little bit of extra glue on it. I put the glue on it. The, the And I just use glue stick for this part. But I put the extra glue on it because washi is designed to come up and be removed. And I don't want these to be removed. I want these to stay put. So I'm going to put that up there. Okay. And let's put another... There it is. I'm like, I know I just had it here in my hand. Put another one down at the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with that. There we go. So these don't take that long. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to... I'm filming this part, but I don't know the... I may just stop the video and say, you know what, go, just go make them. It doesn't take that long. And I have done a video with these in the past. Okay, so there we go. I just want to show you something different that you can do in the middle. Okay, so let's work on that middle. <clears throat> I kind of like that really wide one there. <coughs> Excuse me. I have these pieces. I might not use these. Hang on, I'm going to get something else. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just had to take a minute and clean up some of my space because it was starting to drive me 
absolutely bonkers. So these are just some sheets out of an old journal that I am in the process of cutting up. I am, how many do I want? How much do I want here? I think I want, um, how many pages do I have? I don't think I have very many pages. I think I want to get a few more pages. Yeah, I only have two pages here. Definitely want more pages. Okay, I'm going to cut it to that line. There we go. And then we save these because <clears throat> those will become fodder for something else. Okay, now I'm coming inside. I want the inside piece. And I'm going to cut it right about, make a mark. I need you to get out of my way. Right about here. Once I have these, I can then uh, use them. Put that in the envelope. And let me grab a couple more sheets out of the journal. It's just one of these cheap journals um, from the dollar store, I th and, and this one's really old. So that'll give me one, two, two more. I want six or seven pages. I'm thinking six pages would be plenty. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut these down to that, and I will be back again. I know, I keep leaving you guys. I'll be back. Okay, so I have my pad of paper, and I am going to put that right in here in the middle, and I'm getting a small stapler. It still staples normal sizes, it's okay. Making sure everything's all lined up. I'm good. And we're going to fold over yep, where everything's going to be all right. You know, that whole measure twice, staple once. This is full-size staplers. I don't have one of those little mini staplers that has the little tiny staples. That would have been nicer, I think, but it's not what I got. I got this. All right, now I definitely need to cover over these. I definitely, where are those little scraps of paper that I found before? Uh, not those, these. So I have these scraps of paper. I can put just a little bit of paper over the top of it. Glue it down. Okay, let's straighten this out a little bit. That is not a straight cut whatsoever. So I like this little guillotine. Um picked it up at one point, I think from Michael's, but I was getting, I had a coupon, so I ended up not paying hardly anything for it. Okay, that's a little bit closer, still a little off, but that's all right. And I want it to cut there. Don't know if I'll keep, well, I'll keep it for now, because you never know. You never know where it might end up going. Okay, that's still not a very straight cut on that side. So, yeah, guillotines are really cool, but they're, I find that... Did that do it? Yeah, it did it. Excellent. And this has got a really sharp blade, so you got to be really careful with it. Excellent. Now, I am going to try this with my glue stick. This is just a piece of wrapping paper. So I'm just using a little bit of wrapping paper to cover up the, come on, to cover up the staples. There. That works. All right, now we have our insides that we're going to do and, oh, and you know what I never did? I never 
Didn't I say the first thing you should do is cut your, your bag open? And I forgot to cut my bag open. There. Bag is now cut open. I am going to use my Fabri-Tac to close this part. Come on. And put this part so it stays down. doing this and just kind of doing this part just so that, so that it isn't in my <clears throat> isn't in my way sorry my voice is a little hoarse this morning I'm not sure what's going on with that all right now this time I'm going to be smart and put this on first and then put my thing of a bob in now do I want yes I'm going to leave it just as it is and I'm going to washi or do something over the top again um, because I really don't like the colors of green I have as far as this goes. Okay, I got glue everywhere on my Fabri-Tac container. But I don't want to say anything. I probably shouldn't say anything. It's working. The glue is working well today. And this just fits. That is a just fit. Now you can obviously take your credit card and smooth it down if you would like, but it's a bulky, bumpy thing. So, all right, and now I'm going to make my hole. Perfect. Excellent. So far, so good. All right. I want to put this one here. Where are my other pieces here? Yes, I want to put you here. So let's go ahead and put on all the big pieces. And then we will go ahead and add in our washi. I don't know if I want to use the same washi throughout or if I want to do different washi. Making sure my there's a lettering on these. I don't know if you can see it. There is print. Uh, these, I don't remember where they came from. If I can remember where I got these, like I said, a lot of this stuff has been hanging around for a year. So <clears throat> I <clears throat> Sorry. Oh my glory. I'm going to need to go get some water or something. To... But yeah, a lot of these have been hanging around for over a year and they were pieces that I printed out or did last year and then just never used. So this year, order a business, get them used up. Get them used up. Okay, so I have one here. I have one here. I just need one here, right? Yep, I just need one here. And I'm thinking this one, but these have all print on the top of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get my print stamp. I have a print stamp. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. This is from Park Lane. Um, this is, uh, I, it doesn't seem to have... I don't know. I'll put that up there is if that's the number 1967 8549 might be the no, I don't know. In any case, uh, this is from Park Lane and I am just going to use a very simple black on here. Um, I have my Craft Smart black that I've actually sort of re-inked with a little bit of something else it's the oh see it's really really wet hang on let me grab a tissue and get that off of there 
I just re-inked it and so it's a pretty darn wet. Okay, so let's just try this. Okay, that looks like it's going to work okay. This is, I bought, I'll show you if I can find it. It's one of the Distress Inks. There it is. Distress Ink Weathered Wood. And it is so wet. Let me show you how wet it is. I don't know if you can see it. That is after, I mean, I worked on this last night and just really tried to dry it off a little bit. I'm half tempted just to leave it open because it has, and what I ended up doing because this particular ink pad was almost empty. I went, of course, I don't really need to do that. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to be on it anyway. There we go. Oh, get that off of there. And we'll do it one more time. There. There's my top. I'll cover that over. Anyway, I re-inked this with the other. I just took that ink pad, that weathered wood, and just put it over the top of it and just let it go. And, um, oh my glory, there's so much ink as is evidenced. Okay, so that now has some stuff on it. Let's see if I can just do that real quick. Get a little more down there at the bottom. All right, we'll put that off to the side. And now we're going to put you in here. See, now it's a little bit closer. It's eh, not, still not exact, but it's a little closer. All right, we'll clean that off very shortly. I do clean my stamps. I just run them under water, warm water, and pat them dry. I know not everybody thinks that that's necessary. I just worry about the ink getting in there, especially with such a fine stamp, with the ink getting in there and then not wanting to come out. And then, you know, messing up the stamp. So I clean my stamps. Hope that's level. It looks like level. Okay. So now we have one, two, three. Got a little spot in here. Got a little tuck spot in there. Got a little pad of paper here. Four. And all it needs is decorating. I wonder if I want to put you up underneath here. Just so that you get a little bit of a surprise when you get to the end. I kind of like that. Probably should have put it on first. Might have been easier. But. I have it, I'm gonna use it up. That's the whole point of this, is to use up all of these extra pieces from last year so I can create new ones for this year. There, that looks cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating this one. Um, I don't need to necessarily, I'll do it on camera, but if you're done, you feel free, move on. Uh, just uh, make sure you're hitting the like button and subscribing because that's the important part. Now I used that around the top. Do I want to continue using the same or do I want to switch to something different? I don't like that particular piece in there. This says peace and joy. Noel, it's a little bit different, okay. Um, I don't want the candy canes. It just says Merry Christmas. We could put Merry Christmas right over here. Let's do that. I'm gonna leave the star and just take the words Merry Christmas. And I'm going to put them right over the top. 
So click the like bell if you have been enjoying this and make sure or click the like button and then click the bell if you want notifications as to when the next video will come out. Um, this is just going to be me doing a little crafting here for a while. Let's see what about these. Okay. These are labels from Days Gone By, the Junk Journal Studio. They are primarily numbers. This one I will distress just a little bit. Just to take down the whiteness on the edges. Yeah, I'm... I don't know what's going by. Something. Oh, a garbage truck. Your garbage truck just went by. I have my windows open, so you're going to hear everything. I had to stop filming yesterday because yesterday I was filming on. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. I'm filming this on Tuesday. And they were. He was not only mowing, he was blowing the leaves around, and then he mowed. And then he went to lunch, and then he came back, and he mowed more, and oh my glory, it was so noisy yesterday. I just about wanted to, you know, jump out of my skin. He had, it was so noisy. Got a little bit of plaid. Nope, that plaid does not work. Um, got some more stripes. Nope, that does not work. Now see, you're, I said that, and here comes somebody mowing again. I don't know who's mowing. Is he mowing in there? Tell me he's not mowing. He is! Oh my glory! He's in the... He is right across in the park again mowing. I am so sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because that is going to be way too noisy. Um, I hope you're having a great day. And make sure you have subscribed. Make sure you've hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below as to what you are doing. Then tell me if you make these. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.